Good morning my darlings and welcome to a new vlog. I'm starting today's vlog looking like the granny emoji. <laughs> I'm practicing I'm practicing doing the Dyson Air Up curls again because I've really been enjoying how they've been looking lately. They've not been lasting very well, but I thought if I just keep them pinned up a little bit longer today, maybe it will last a bit longer. I'm practicing for tomorrow because Tomorrow we have got a photo shoot um, for a brand that I absolutely adore in a location that I absolutely adore. So stay tuned. Tomorrow's vlog footage, which will be in this vlog, will be more exciting than today's footage. So please stick around. And then I've got a very fun afternoon event after the photo shoot. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be fun. Today I had a PT session this morning and um, then put my hair up. I've done some email admin, so feeling a little bit more on top of life after a productive morning. Um, I used, I I featured this at the end of my last vlog, but I was a couple of rosés down and had very tired, like, day being battered by the wind and the elements outside. Um, so I was like applying this over the top of my other makeup, but I tried this on fresh skin today. It's the Shiseido, sorry if you can hear my tummy rumbling. I'm literally going down to have lunch right now. Revitalessence Skin Glow Foundation, and I really like it. It's a really nice light finish, um, like quite serum-y, so love that. And then I used my Merit Beauty Solo Eyeshadow in Vachetta, and I'm obsessed with these. They are so lovely. They just they're just such this is such a perfect everyday color and it lasts all day with absolutely no need to um, like reblend or anything like that so that's two little products that I applied this morning um, I did pop some fake tan on this morning not that I really felt that I needed to tan more more to cover up some mosquito bites that I've got someone actually commented in a recent video saying do you not get bitten when you're out gardening well I don't want to reveal like too much but can you see <laughs> And it looks so much, that's just one of many, that's the itchiest one, but it looks so much worse when I don't have a tan, so I thought I'll tan myself, because a few of the dresses that I've got to wear tomorrow for the shoot are actually strapless, so that's going to be on display. But anyway, just wanted to pop along and say good morning, good afternoon actually, just going to go and have some lunch now, I'm going to try recreating that yummy um, Dalesford hazelnut cacao um, smoothie for my kind of pudding, and then... Um, I should have a Netta Porter and a Farfetch order arriving today. I mentioned in the last vlog I've been trying to find some trainers that I can wear with dresses so I can be cool but feminine at the same time. And some of them should be arriving today. Fingers crossed. So let's go and have some lunch, make a smoothie, and then we can do some unboxing. If they've arrived. Which they should have done according to my DHL notifications. <laughs> darlings had a yummy lunch not quite full though so this is going to be the perfect icing on the cake so um you've seen i just made some hazelnut and was it hazelnut yes hazelnut and almond milk i'm gonna add that to my smoothie uh, it's not really a smoothie it's more of a nutty yummy cold press healthy milkshake kind of so what I'm going to add, because it is my afternoon pick-me-up, I have got a basically a quadruple espresso, more of a large coffee actually, it's only one um, big shot of coffee. I'm going to add in two or three dates. One, two, three. I'm adding in a couple of teaspoons of chia seeds, a couple of teaspoons of maca powder. I think this is good for antioxidants. I think that's the main benefit of maca powder. Can't quite remember them all off the top of my head. I just know that it's <laughs> good for you. And then I've got my ancient and brave cacao and collagen, 
which is really rather yummy and this is what makes it taste so good so a lovely tablespoon of the powder and fresh from the fridge my homemade almond and hazelnut milk which i did in the milky plant machine this will definitely be enough smoothie or milkshake here for tomorrow as well. I wouldn't recommend keeping it more than a couple of days, um, but this will be perfect to take with me on the photo shoot tomorrow for a little bit of an afternoon pick-me-up. Okay, let's waz it all together. Okay, over ice. Ooh, that looks yummy. Give that a good blend. Oh my gosh, yummy, yummy, yummy. This is gonna be amazing. Ooh. Oh, and I forgot to show you, but I added in a pinch of salt at the end. Perfect afternoon pick-me-up. That is amazing. Mm. I love how nutty that is. And then this is the glass that I made the hazelnut milk in earlier. And I'll take this with me tomorrow. This is actually one of the glasses from our kefir yogurt. Um, and then I just recycle it in a nearby recycling bin when I'm out and about. So I don't have to worry about bringing them home and washing them. Ooh, a little bit sludgy at the bottom. That's all the date. Um, might actually add that into my smoothie now. A little bit of fiber. Perfect. So that's going to go in the fridge, ready for me to enjoy tomorrow afternoon. If you ever make one of these, by the way, and if you ever make any tweaks and it's even better, please let me know. I know that the um, organic cacao hazelnut cold press that they make in Dalesford, they don't add, they don't add dates or coffee but they do add maple syrup. So I feel like mine is a little bit more of a boost and a little bit less sugar. Um, obviously the dates are a bit of sugar, but it is lovely. Hello again, my darlings. Looking a bit more glam now. I've let the pin curls out. I have been very much enjoying um, making an effort with my hair lately. I go through phases. Sometimes I'm just like, no, nope, no heat, nothing. And at the moment I'm just trying to make a bit more of an effort. Um, I feel like when we get into October, November, December and work gets really busy, uh, well busier, then I will give up on the hair, but for now I'm enjoying playing with it. So, um, to make the most of this good hair, I thought I would do a little bit of a trainer try on with you, opposite, opposite ends. This will be lovely and hopefully the feet will be lovely. So. Here is my little haul. Um, as I mentioned, I placed a Netta Porter order and a Farfetch order. So I've got a few things to try and also a couple of hats just for fun because um, I, I love hats on holiday, but at the moment I normally just wear caps and I, I want to be a cool hat wearer. I was watching some of Tamara's vlogs when she's just literally on the most insane holidays, yachting from Capri to Positano, etc. And she's got a good selection of hats. Now she's a lot cooler than I am, um, but I want to I want to give off that like cool hat vibe <laughs> when we're on holiday. So got a couple of hats um, to try on with you too. So I've popped on the kind of dress that I want to be able to style with trainers. This is my lovely, um, I just love the colour of this. It's like a sunset burnt orange. I, when I tried this on for you before, I did mention, it's from Holland Cooper, I did mention that I want to shorten the shoulders and I'm yet to do that. So you might get a little brassier glimpse, but it's a knitted dress. Um, and this is the kind of thing that I really want to be able to pair with trainers. So without further ado... <gasps> Let's um, stick with the orange theme and unbox some of the Todd's trainers. So these have come from a Netta Porter order. Oh, they're quite heavy. So pair of trainers number one, and these are probably the least like cool looking trainers, but the ones that I thought that I would like the most um, because they are slip on and I'm exceptionally lazy. So if I don't need to tie up shoelaces and I'm even more likely to reach for these, looking inside them, they look like they literally have like the most padded sole on the planet. Nice grippy, um, is that the sole or is that the sole? Don't know, but this bit looks really like it's gonna be very supportive love the fact that I can slip them on. I got them in, I think, a 37. In most shoes I wear 36, but I always size up in trainers. So let's give these a try. Oh, stuffing. Oh, 
Okay, hopefully you can actually see the trainers. I actually can't see what you can see. Um, but first impressions, they are so comfortable. It feels like I'm walking on memory foam. Like it feels like there's a memory foam mattress inside my shoes. I really like how they look. Um, I like the fact, I'm gonna just bring you, excuse the boobs, I'm gonna bring you down. Yelling timber. Um, probably not very flattering, but can you see they've almost got like a little bit of tan on the tip, which I think looks quite cool, but I'm very much relying on you guys to tell me what's cool or not, because I think we've established that I've got no clue what is cool and what is not cool. So this is what they look like, trainer pair number one. Please leave comments down below. Um, I won't send any back or decide to keep any until you guys have seen this, but yeah, there we go. I feel like I probably have like that much of a um, heel height boost as well. So I think they're quite height giving. Uh, so yeah, are these a cool pair of trainers? That is the question. I'll have to ask Chloe as well. She knows far more about what's cool than I do. Um, so yeah, pair number one. Comfort, literally 10 out of 10. Love how comfortable these are. Super. I think what possibly helps as well is that they're quite a nude, um, are you meant to like cinch this dress up or not? I'm never too sure. Um, yeah, they're quite a nude colour, so maybe that is a little bit more flattering and leg elongating. Uh, but yeah, let me know. Right, pair number two. Before I get started on um, the second pair, I'm gonna light my Holland Cooper candle because let's just say I'm really glad that you cannot smell <laughs> through your uh, laptop or through your, through your TV screen because I put on a one hour express fake tan and what you gain in express tan, you sacrifice your bodily fragrance. <laughs> I stink is the moral of the story. It's very, very, very smelly indeed in here. And I am the culprit. <laughs> so I think um, it's a bit chilly for opening the window. Sadly, it's gone a bit sad outside. How gorgeous is this? And even unlit, it smells incroyable. Beautiful. I think it's rose and something or other. And yeah, hopefully that's going to make it smell great in here. Okay, next up, second pair from Todd's. Can't remember what these look like. I'm now thinking they might be the exact same pair of shoes in a different size. Sport Run Maglia Sporty Cat Bomb is what they're called in a 36 and a half. Let's just go and see. Uh, Sporty Cat Bomb in a 37. Right. That's exceptionally boring. It's the exact same pair of shoes in a half size smaller. Not even going to bother unboxing these actually because that size fit pretty well. Okay, let's move on. Okie dokie, pair number two, actual pair number two. Um, this is from a brand called Human Race, which as a brand name, it makes me think that maybe they are a sustainable brand. Are they going to be real leather? Or are they going to be vegan leather? Not sure how I feel about vegan leather because it's just plastic, isn't it? Yes. So, let's see, ah, Adidas, okay, must be an Adidas human race collaboration. Hmm, okay, these are a little bit more plimsoll-y, would you call them a plimsoll? What is the difference between a plimsoll, a sneaker and a trainer? Some people are very knowledgeable when it comes to trainers, as you may have guessed, I am not. But, okay, are they Adidas originals? Because this says original. I think it is real leather. Yeah, with a leather lining. They are the Samba, UK size four. They just don't look anywhere near as comfortable. They look a bit like bowling shoes, don't they? They look a little bit, now this is not meant to be offensive, but they look a little bit East London for me. And when I say that, I mean a little bit too cool, too cool. For me. I think I'm just going to try on one of them. Right, what do we think? Oh my gosh. Mm, no, I am not sure about these. 
I feel like they look like orthopedic bowling shoes. <laughs> That's not the vibe I'm going for. They're also nowhere near as comfy as um, the Todd's. This is where you guys are all shouting at the screen being like, Josie, that's what all the cool kids are wearing these days. Maybe it is, but I feel like there's not much ankle support from like a rolling inwards perspective either, and I do roll in quite a lot. I think the tongue of them is too big. Let's bring you down. Are you impressed that I know that that's called a tongue? Because I'm quite impressed that I have that tiny bit of knowledge. This is annoying because you can't even really see with all of this stuff in the way. Don't we just think they look like bowling shoes? Yeah, I'm not a fan of these. No, this is going into the no pile. Gosh, it already smells amazing over here, thanks to the candle. Um, I've got a feeling this is not a pair of trainers. I think it might be a cute little jumper. Got a bit, got a bit carried away. Yeah, this is, this is definitely not a pair of trainers. I just saw this and thought it was really cute. Isn't it adorable? It's just a cute little kind of like, ooh, maybe this could be my cool outfit, wearing a jumper over the top of my knit dress with my trainers, with my snickers. Is this how cool kids dress these days? Probably not. Kind of like if Prada did school jumpers. Ooh, I quite like it. I quite like it. It's got a bit of a crop to it. Um, but otherwise it's just like a fling it on kind of jumper. What do we think? I do rather like this. It's quite jazzy, isn't it? Let's, um, let's open another pair of trainers and I'll show you the whole outfit. Okay, what's this? Ah, this is a brand that, again, confuses me. It's Golden Goose, which I've heard on the grapevine is quite a cool brand. I'm making myself cringe with how uncool I am trying to explain these cool brands when 97% of people watching this will be far cooler than me. <laughs> you know I was not cool in school. Quite the opposite. I was definitely not part of the cool gang, that's for sure. Right, Golden Goose. Apparently you buy them and they already look dirty. What is wrong with the world? Right. For dream use only, not designed for other activities. Okay, they don't look filthy. <laughs> That's a good start. Um, right, I mean, I don't really know how to describe them. They are GGDB Private Edit. Apparently, I think these were a Netta Porter exclusive. I quite like the look of these, actually. Um, I feel like these might be non-leather. Um, suede is on them. And then kind of like a canvas if you have anything that's this kind of material you have to spray them with my favorite product in the world which is liquid proof I'll leave it linked down below oh and they're kind of like flannelly on the inside I'm intrigued I've got a feeling this might be the kind of thing that I was looking for so I'm quite optimistic and then the Todd's ones you know they're not like the cool kid trainers but I think I would get a lot of use out of them so maybe I'll keep two let's Let's give them a try. Okay, my darlings. Um, sorry about the mess and distraction of that. But here we've got the Golden Goose private edit, whatever they're called, trainers on, and the Prada jumper. I quite like these, actually. Um, there is a black detail on the tip of the trainer, which is quite dark um it's quite like a contrast compared to the rest of the outfit but you've got other than that you've got tan on the sole they do look quite sporty but i feel like golden goose is quite a cool brand is it still a cool brand therefore maybe people will think that i'm cool with them as part of my outfits um yeah i like them they feel a lot more supportive than the adidas's that I just tried on. Let's bring you down. What do we think of the jumper, by the way? I really like it. I think it's fun. I ordered two sizes over my usual size, and it's still very cropped. I wanted it to be even bigger, like boyfriend jumper style, but um, because I returned the Hermes cardigan, I thought this would be quite a nice thing for like popping on top of various outfits in the um, like summer kind of evenings. Right, trainers. <laughs> What are we thinking to these ones? Golden Goose. 
yeah, I do like them. I think I could get away with wearing these with dresses and potentially still look quite cool. Um, they're not they're not unelegant. Obviously not as elegant as wearing a pair of sandals, but sometimes you just need something more practical. Like when you literally have to walk all day. Would I wear this in London? It's not that me, but I think for the sake of practicality, I think maybe I could. Yeah, I wish the sole wasn't black. I wish that tip wasn't black because the other detail is like a nice tan and um, it would be nicer if that was tan too, but alas. I have not designed them, so yeah. Okay, I'm leaning towards keeping these and the Todd's so far, and the jumper. What do you think? Please help me. Righty ho, the final pair of shoes for now, because I think actually all of these have come from Netta Porter, and I'm pretty sure I still have something arriving from Farfetch, maybe later today. Ooh, these are from Saint Laurent, gosh. This could be interesting. Hmm. Let's have a look. I think these ones are the most elegant, but possibly not the coolest. Very heavy. That is my first remark. They are very heavy indeed. Ooh, chunky. A little bit orthopedic looking. Um, again, toweling on the inside. Plain, are they cool? Sporty? Chic, I don't know. Uh, it says Saint Laurent. These are kind of Tennessee. It says Saint Laurent here, and possibly says it there too. Yep, Saint Laurent there. Uh, okay, so let's give them a try. Let's see how they look. I wish I could do live feedback. Because if I knew what you guys were saying right now, that would be really helpful. They smell a bit like toy shoes. All right, let's pop them on. Okay, not sure if you could tell, but that literally took me about a year to put them on. Um, I wasn't sure whether you're meant to undo the laces and redo them or just kind of try and try and wiggle your way in. I don't know how I feel about these. They feel they feel like really nicely spongy around the foot, so pretty comfortable from that respect. Um, yeah, pretty comfortable. Probably not as comfortable as the Todd's. Maybe as comfortable as the Golden Goose. Um, they just feel a little bit more chunky. I think maybe a little bit more elegant, but then they're a bit more tennis-y. Oh, I don't know, they're all actually really different, and I never thought I would say that about three pairs of um, sneakers or trainers. Oh, which is the cool pair? I just don't know. Can someone tell me about how you're meant to do them up as well? Because I've got a feeling that tying them in a bow is not the dumb thing. Um, but yeah, a little bit chunkier, but I like the simplicity of them. I like that the only real detail is the, the writing of the same wrong. But then from above, do they look a little bit clunky when I'm trying to pair them with nice little elegant dresses? Hmm, what do the cool kids wear? Not that that's really important to me, but I did want something just to pair with my dresses and that is not a pair of trainers that I wear in the gym, you know, like fashion trainers. The more I look at these, the more I think maybe these are the ones. Um, so this is, this is how it's looking with the dress. Oh, I really don't know. I think I am just quite literally going to have to wait for this video to go live and um, you guys to tell me, Chloe to tell me, Charlie to tell me. Charlie was saying about... Um, his favourite trainer brand, I think it's called Axel Arigato, and he's got a few pairs from them, so maybe I should try some of them too. But yeah, the more the more I look in the mirror, the more I think these, just because I actually like the style of shoe the most, like the simplicity of them, whereas these have got a little bit more detail. I think the slip onness of those makes them a little bit less cool, and maybe with these I'm just trying too hard, like Golden Goose, maybe a bit too try hard, but... Yeah, please, 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 more than ever, I would love your feedback down below and I'll just keep a hold of them all until you guys let me know what is cool. <laughs> okay, now this is potentially gonna be a bit weird with my um, jumper on, but I've got two hats now and I would like these to be my holiday hats or one to be a holiday hat. This one is a kind of Federer style. Um, 
right yeah it's not the right vibe with a jumper on is it <laughs> okay let's pretend we've been on the beach all day i think actually this is a little bit too big hat number one is giving slight um flying saucer vibes it's not quite the look i was going for um i think it is too big am i wearing it the right way around yeah i'm sure that is the right way around yeah because the gucci sign is at the back yeah, that's, that's just not quite right, is it? I look like I'm trying to be a cowgirl. Okay. Hat number two is a real wild card. It's a kind of bucket style hat. And I know that these are really hard to pull off. So I'm not feeling particularly optimistic about this. <gasps> I really like it. <laughs> well, people just think I'm a bit of a joke wearing this. Like... The trainers are me trying to be cool, and then the hat is, sorry, bra alert, I really need to alter the straps on this. Yeah, the trainers are saying I'm trying to be cool, and then the hat is saying I'm so dorky and I don't really care, and I quite like that. So it is not subtle, um, Loewe. I think I laughed at people when they wore bucket hats a couple of years ago, and now here I am with a little straw one. But then how is this going to look when I've got soggy hair, no makeup on, and definitely not a Dyson Airwrap? Possibly not going to be giving the same vibes. What do we think? I think I need to try this on when I'm less um, hair done, face done. Because like this, I really, really like how this looks. Uh, I'm just not sure if I'm going to be feeling the same way when I'm fresh off the beach. But the whole thing is that I want to have something that I can just throw on and keep my face in the shade. I like to have my head coloured when head, yeah, head covered when I'm in the sun. So yeah, let me know what you think about the hats. Definitely not the Gucci, but I do quite like the Loewe, and I think Scarlett um, will be proud of me for this one. <laughs> Guys, we've got great news. I sent Scarlett a photo, Scarlett being the coolest person that I know, and I said, can I wear this in Catalonia or is it not cool? And she said, it's beyond cool, capital letters, obsessed. I actually think it's generally quite nice, though like Sophia Ritchie would wear it vibes. <laughs> so that is all the mark of approval that I need. Um, so officially keeping the Loewe hat and very excited to wear it in Catalonia. More concerningly, she did also say that I have got a page on a website all about rating people's feet. And I've got a 4.5 out of 5. <laughs> so thank you, foot raters, for giving me that accolade. Very exciting. Okay, um, well, great. So I think I'm officially going to be returning the Gucci hat and um, the Adidas sneakers and the extra pair of Todds. So I'll pop those all away until you guys have had a chance to um, let me know your feedback on the others. So great, that was productive. Okay, hello again, darlings. It's a few hours since I last spoke to you. I have been at my laptop doing all the boring bits that need to be done on a Monday afternoon. And you will see I have here Finally, a dry wedding dress. It hasn't taken this long to dry, um, but it's taken this long to dry for the tissue paper to arrive and um, for me to get my act together and show you. I am thrilled with the results of my at-home cleaning experiment. If you did not watch um, the vlog where I finished the vlog by cleaning my wedding dress at home, I would highly recommend because in that vlog I'll, I show you how I got my couture dress um, pretty much spotless looking at it now at home for literally the cost of a tub of Vanish and some Dalesford detergent. Um, I am so, so, so happy with the results. Is it perfect? No, but I've spoken to um, friends that have had their wedding dress cleaned professionally, and they've actually said that even the professionals, one of my friends, the wedding dress cleaning company had their dress for two years. I think they might have forgotten about it, um, but like that's just cray cray and even then, they didn't get it spotless, so I'm thrilled to have spent literally an hour, and it was 
quite fun doing this myself at home um, and the results are just amazing so as you can see well can you the color is a perfect white the color that it was the day that i walked down the aisle we've got rid of the fake tan marks on the inside here um another reason that, that i waited till today to show you is because i knew i'd be flinging it around the house um and the house has been thoroughly cleaned today so it's a lot safer to do this today yeah so all of the fake tan marks that were around here are now gone i probably shouldn't be doing this with a fresh layer of fake tan on in case i literally get more tan on it right now but i shall be careful um and then hang on a sec if we have a little look down here, I mean, the bottom of this dress was absolutely filthy o rama, and there are still a few teeny tiny places where you can see a little bit of shading. Can you see that? Um, but overall, it looks pretty much spotless. Barely any marks on here anymore, and I think that leaving it to soak for that significant amount of time was a really, really good shout. So very 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 happy indeed with this result um i thought i would actually just check in this cupboard here if there's room for the box uh no i'm gonna put it in a trunk i think let's go upstairs to some of the top floor bedrooms and see if there's room in a trunk and then i'll put dress in box box in trunk and it should be super duper secure well, it appears my husband is literally collecting trunks in this bedroom. We have got this one here at the end of the bed. We've got one here. Goodness knows what that's all about. And another one here. This is crazy. It's like Captain Jack Sparrow is using my top floor bedroom to keep all of his Soho house dressing gowns. That is so funny. Right, um, well, I think this one here, the middle one, is the one most likely to be able to fit it in, but I've got a feeling it's full of winter duvets. Let's have a look. Lots of duvets. Right, that looks like a very boring job for another day. So, sorry, I'm really conscious that this dress keeps revealing my bra. I'm actually going to try sewing it tonight. I've just seen another trunk. This is ridiculous. <laughs> there is another trunk hiding in the corner. Um, yeah, this is quite wild, but what's another trunk in the trunk bedroom? So I think I'm just gonna pack it down into its little container. Maybe it can go under the bed. Yeah, it can go under the bed until we have sorted out the bedding in this one. Any more changes in here since you were last in here? I don't think so. It's a very cute little bedroom. Not often seen on this YouTube channel, but we've got little slippers. To be honest, it only really gets used when we have a house full, which is normally Christmas time. Haven't had any, um, well, and our wedding, of course. Yeah, I do love this room. Very cozy, very lovely, and will now be the home of my wedding dress. often get to see. I very rarely film out here, but uh, this is where the box has been being stored for wedding dress storage and this is quite a sad moment because I'm about to put tissue paper on top of the bodice of my dress and I don't know when I'll see her again. <laughs> feels a little bit like, feels like, oh, oh my gosh I'm gonna cry. <laughs> It feels like the last like wedding memento and I'm not ready to I'm not ready to say goodbye to it just yet. It's so beautiful. Ooh, I've just actually been looking at wedding um, photo albums online. Let me know if you've got any recommendations for like a fabric covered wedding photo album where they print the pictures inside. Um, I found a couple, but let me know if you've got any recommendations. Uh, yeah, so I'm using acid-free tissue paper that I ordered on Amazon to pad between the layers and this is the final layer. This is the bodice. So I'm going to tuck some inside the bodice. 
and bid her farewell. Don't know when I'm next gonna get this out and have a little look and I don't know when I'm next gonna try this on. Maybe our one year anniversary I will get it out and pop it on it just for fun. But my beautiful wedding dress until until next time. There she is, all wrapped up. Just put the spare tissue paper inside. <laughs> And there she is, my wedding dress. So this is gonna go under the bed for now in the spare room until we sort out that trunk. Dinner time and we are using loads of lovely ingredients from the kitchen garden. We've got a load of little tiny baby tomatoes um, that were actually from the tomato plant that self seeded this year. Then we've got some herbs, a couple of different courgettes, some onion, which are not from the garden. And looks like I've got a bit of bacon as well, not from the garden. Some fresh pasta from Nonna Tonda, and then we like to mix it in with a nice Dalesford tomato sauce. So this is going to be a delicious dinner, which Charlie is gonna do while I finish off a video edit that you guys will have seen last week. Yum! <coughs> Good morning, my darlings, from your little Smurf friend. I didn't need to wash my hair again this morning, um, but I wanted to do the air wrap curls again because today is shoot day and I haven't yet figured out how to do those curls not on day one freshly washed hair. So I'm gonna really quickly show you how I do it. Fresh faced and serumed and out of the shower. Sorry about the helicopter noise. Um, we need to leave for the shoot in 40 minutes, so this really is going to have to be the speed version. Two products that I'm going to apply to my clean and wet hair. As always, Red Ken One United. I will mist this all over my hair. And then this is the Michael Van Clark Eureka Blow Dry Balm. This, similar to this, has got 10,000 benefits. Heat protecting, frizz deferring, super hydrating, bond repairing, faster drying, shine enhancing and I swear it has a little bit of hold to it as well, so it's absolutely gorgeous. I always twizzle my hair up into a toweling towel, toweling towel? Hair drying towel, upon getting out of the shower. And then before brushing, I mist it with the Red Ken spray. Not too much because we actually don't want hair to be too silky, otherwise everything just drops out. And then I'm adding about four or five, no, three, they're quite large pumps, three pumps of the Michael Van Clark Eureka just to the mid to ends of my hair. And these two together enable me to brush through it, give heat protection, split end protection, and all the rest. And it's just such a lovely silky product. It gets absorbed straight away. I always, always, always use the Michael Van Clark number one brush literally all the time and especially when my hair is wet because it's really gentle. So I'm gonna brush all the way through and then using my big hair dryer, I'm gonna dry my hair to about 80% dry. <laughs> Okie dokie, we have done five minutes of uh, rough drying. Annoyingly, I always have sections of my hair that get completely bone dry and some which are still soaking wet. I have no idea how to fix that, never mind. So next, again, taking the number one brush, I'm just loosely finding a parting. My hair doesn't like to part anywhere. My hair likes to grow backwards, which is incredibly annoying, especially when styling. Um, brushing it through so that I can actually get my hands into it. And now I'm gonna basically section off two sections. I'm gonna do little bunny hoppers at the top of my head, just using my fingernail and twizzling these two little front sections round into some little buns, <laughs> just so that they are out of the way. And I've got these little clips that I think I got from Anthropology in the US 
Okay, <laughs> this is what we currently look like. A mixture between Bugs Bunny and a Spice Girl. At this stage, I'm just gonna add on my under eye patches, which no, I don't do every single time, but considering it's a shoot day, I think it's good to have a little bit of under eye love. These are the 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Eye Masks, and if they give me a little bit more life to my complexion, then it will be worth looking a little bit crazy for. So now let's get out the air wrap. Okay, so tools that we'll be using, air wrap, and then I've got the extra long barrel attachments, got the window open, so got a nice little bit of breeze. Um, I can feel that actually some of these sections are a little bit too wet. I'm not going to bother adding anything onto the blower. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna do one more quick dry around the parting. The next thing that you need are, I need to get a few more of these because I like the slightly bigger ones, but I have got a ton of these crocodile clips, which just remind me of when you used to do the electricity experiments in school when you're little. Um, you need to start, I always hold them up in the mirror and you want the one where the arrows are blowing away from your face on the side that you intend. I do full air and full heat and I'm taking sections that are about an inch big get the other hair out the way and then I hold it with about two inches or more flopping down from the bottom and then I let the air wrap catch it hot for about eight seconds cold for about five seconds catch the curl and then pin the curl so let me show you By some sorcery, it's weirdly not too hot to touch, and yet it's hot enough to curl your hair. Magic, absolutely magic. So the process begins with little curly whirlies like this. If a section is still a bit too wet, then I could either dry it a little bit more or I could make that section smaller and allow the barrel to dry it. is not a quick um, hairstyle for me because I have got a lot, a lot, a lot of hair. Before I do anything else, I'm just gonna waz over these bottom sections with a little bit of hairspray. And at this stage, taking off those 20 minutes is long enough. And popping on my moisturizer. It's actually a really nice, um, ritual because it gives your skincare plenty of time to absorb. I think maybe washing my hair two days in a row and hoping for long lasting curls today is not gonna be the most successful thing because it does feel, my hair just feels so silky. So just not sure how long they're gonna last, but we'll give them, we'll give them a good chance. I have to make sure I spray it quite a lot when I take them out. So when I reached um, the middle at the back there, I actually changed the tongue to do the one that was facing the other way around. Now we're going back to the original one and I'm going to start with this section here, this time trying to blow the curls backwards away from my face. So I'm gonna unclip it. Far less hair here, so these sections take way less time. So we'll probably only need like three curls. So the back section, again holding it a couple of inches from the bottom. curler out after a few seconds of cold shot and then just crocodile clipping it into place and I'm going to repeat that two more times for these little front sections. Oh my 
goodness, <laughs> that literally took half an hour. If you have got a lot less hair than I do, um, which is a lot of people, then that will take you a fraction of the time. And I, I'm not that well practiced in it, so I could probably speed up with time, but that's how long it takes. Let's just hope it lasts. I have finished with a mist of the Redken Control Addict, Control Addict Extra Hold hairspray and I'm going to take this with me and when I take it out I will brush it out with a fine tooth comb fine tooth no wide tooth comb ah. and uh, hopefully hopefully it will hold so my moisturizer has had about 10 minutes to sink in I like doing my makeup at this stage because I don't have to move around too much Ooh, SPF Evlon factor 50 while I um, pop everything away this SPF is also a primer, which is fantastic. But anyway, I don't really have time to talk you through my makeup, so I'm gonna pop some makeup on and I will see you when we are on the road to Cornbury. Dress was made for you to be fair. beautiful sensational Cornbury house and thrown straight in at the deep end snapping away we are getting the first two looks done as quickly as possible um, because David who lives here has got a luncheon he's got some guests flying in um, from London for a lovely summer lunch meeting so we're gonna get some shots this side of the house and then whiz around the other side out of their way but how lucky are we this gorgeous day borders are looking so colourful and so floral and um, we've got a full team here getting photo and video for the Needle and Thread website. We've just shot this gorgeous dress. Uh, now we're going to get changed into look number three. Look at this. We shot our first look here. Here comes the reflector board. <laughs> Jodie looks like she might fly away. <laughs> Number four of six. Four of six. Lovely weather. Maybe seven. We are so spoiled. We had lunch in the sunshine. This one, oh, it's kind of like my wedding dress. It's no nice. I, the I, they're all lovely. I, the one you wore before that was spectacular. The blue and white ruffle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. really nice. This one's my favorite. So we've got this sensational backdrop. The weather is perfect. The hydrangeas are looking amazing. Um, I'm going to go now change into a full sequin number for dress number five. He's off. Um, and we're going to find another gorgeous corner to shoot in. We're spoiled for choice every corner here. It's just a sensational, perfect shoot day. <laughs> Thank you. 
we have just wrapped on a very, very, very tremendously productive shoot day. It has been amazing. The needle and thread team are just amazing. They are such incredible ladies and gentlemen. Kieran photographer was incredible. We shot seven looks, photo and video, which is a lot in four and a half hours. It's half three now and I'm heading over to RH Ainho for a lovely event which I cannot wait for. I think there's going to be a lot of food, a lot of lovely nibbles and it's just what the doctor ordered after a shoot day. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to carry on listening to my podcast on the way over there. Pop the windows down because it's really toasty and I also just have to say that um, the Howden family are so welcoming. Not only is it just so generous of them to let us shoot in their home, but also their entire team. We had elderflower press, we had tea, we had coffee. Alex is just the absolute best. Kept us hydrated. We've been very well looked after, so I'm feeling very grateful to have um, just had the best, best shoot afternoon because sometimes they can be very overwhelming, very stressful, and this was the complete opposite of that. So, yeah feeling very very lucky and now on to a glorious afternoon with some pals so let's hit the road here at Ainho again and this time it is beautiful not pouring with rain like it was last time and I found this darling girl Hello. oh it's dazzlingly bright That's over gorgeous, here though, isn't it? oh my goodness so is this your first time here ever ever my first time here ever, ever. I drive ever, past ever. it all the time oh wow and first time driving past and not going to Bista Village oh <laughs> well done self-restraint so proud of myself ah absolutely perfect so we just had um so i'm going to turn us this way that's because we're nice literally day. getting blinded oh that's nice that's much better just had some little pizzas we had margarita and truffle pizza and oh. a little bit of rose chef's kiss chef's kiss and now we are going to have um teas so there's an english tea room there's a juicery there's an orangery Ooh, there's a pizza juicery. place yep and they are opening a burger restaurant i think next month well charlie's going to be very excited about that he sure the husband's is. going to be thrilled he is and if americans can do one thing really well it's burgers so can't wait for that to open and i mean you can just come here and Get a glass of wine and just sit and enjoy this view. It's absolutely incredible. It's stunning. There are lots of, obviously lots of members clubs around here, but here you don't even need to pay to come in. Wow. Just pay for your glass of wine and sit enjoy. and enjoy the view. Yeah, we came to the one in Napa Valley and it was amazing because the lady that served me, she mm. heard my accent. She was like, where are you from? So and friendly. she knew Betty's in Harrogate, which is the best no. tea room. And she just kept giving me extra wine That's because wild. she knew it. And she was literally, we were all the way in Napa Valley. That's wild. So I have like a big, my heart loves Restoration yeah. Harbour because oh. of that. It's not Restoration Hunter anymore, it's RH. 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 So did they change the ones in America as well to be RH? I think so. Yeah, it's all rebranded. Yeah. I'm looking in the reflection of your sunglasses and my arm muscle is looking <laughs> good, but that is a rhubarb oh, rash. No. Rhubarb I thought rash. you were going to say it was from the A10. No, it's from rhubarb. Wild. Gorgeous, darling. Anyway, we're going to get some snaps and then we're going to have some tea. Tea time! Yay! Very different vista from the windows from the last time I came here when it was pouring with rain. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is the Oxfordshire-Northamptonshire border. 
looking like a postcard. It's really lovely. So we're getting a tour of the property and we just found out that this staircase, I'm going to show you in a second, there were 800 man hours involved of restoration. It had so many layers of paint and dirt on it and it has been so beautifully restored. To now look like this, it is, I think he said a 300 year old oak wooden staircase, one of the oldest parts of the building. My goodness, it has been beautifully done. Three years ago, I wouldn't have given a hoot about this, but now I appreciate how much work that must have been. So like when people got married here, like literally a few years ago, none of this was restored. Yeah, yeah, but the main staircase through there would have been just as beautiful. Yeah, but this was not really like a main area. Yeah, so it didn't look like this when you were like not quite as beautiful. No, but it was also full of crazy artwork like um, the giraffe with the balloons and yeah, it was wild. But now this is the unicorn downstairs. Let's carry on our tour. This is more of a staff staircase. So one of the chaps that we were with earlier is a professionally trained butler. And did you know butlers are trained to walk on the edge of the stairs and not in the middle so that they don't scuff up the owner's fancy carpets? Hmm. Fact of the day, vlogception. <laughs> So this is my opportunity to get a little outfit of the day. I popped on the Lug von Sieger dress. It's perfect for nice warm sunny afternoons. My little Prada bag and my sandals. We're here in, I think it's been renamed the Parnham Staircase, the Sophie, yeah, Sophie and James, oh, Perkins Staircase. So lovely. It is just so bright and beautiful. And now I think we are heading into the tea room for a cup of tea of which we've got a choice of a few. Interestingly, we just learned that this room is nicknamed the Whisper Room because something to do with the structure of the ceilings has an effect on how sound transfers around the room. So if you actually stand here or here and face in opposite directions, you can hear each other just as perfectly as though I was whispering over your shoulder. Time for tea. This is the Orangery restaurant. I mean, it really is quite spectacular. They've popped in some new, um, new lighting, obviously new seating, and this is quite a traditional menu in here. Uh, last time Chai and I came, we had roast chicken, burrata, truffle fries. It's expensive, but what a set. Back to the Orangery. I have got an iced oat chai latte. My darling, what have you got? I have got the matcha. Of course, I always have matcha. Matcha. I love matcha it because they're actually a bit of a pain in the butt to make at home, aren't they? Honestly, I have all of the gear and no idea because <laughs> I'm telling you. It Do you whisk a, it? There's a real, yeah, you get like a mini whisk or you can use a wooden kind of whisk. There's oh. a real neck to it. Um, mm. My American friend doesn't know what neck means, so every time <gasps> I say it, um, I'll be like, oh, is there a neck to opening your door? And she'll say, what does neck That's mean? not an expression that I use very often, but I know what it but means. It's a expression, is it? Yeah. I'm making match I would say I haven't got the neck of this yet. But actually, we would say to making magic there's an art to it. There is a real art. There is an it, art. I just cannot do the art. It's a full <laughs> tea ceremony. Can our age do the art? Have you tried it? Can do the art, yeah. That's what we like to see. Yummy. Very good. Good. Yumarillo. Yumarillo. <laughs> Copycat Rory. Cheers to us. Cheers. I feel like I need this. Give me divine caffeine. lovely way to end the day. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but the little church which is on the grounds here at Aineho, it must be bell ringing practice on a Tuesday evening, just the same as we have um, in our village for us on a Wednesday evening. And that is a... That is an eight bell peel, which is very impressive for such a tiny little local village church. Um, but gosh, what a gorgeous evening. That restaurant, honestly, the view is sensational. Just looking out on the rolling hills, the sheep and deer, beautiful sunlight. We had just such a magical evening and wonderful to catch up with Em. Um, so now I'm gonna head home and to be honest, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It has been quite an exciting one. Lots of lovely things going on in this vlog. Oops, I've done something weird to my hair. 
um, but I really hope you have enjoyed coming along for today's shoot and this afternoon at Ainho and I will see you in the next one.